Good morning. It's Thursday, December 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Refreshing Spring Rain. And our scripture is Psalm 72, where King David writes, Give your love of justice to the king, O God, and righteousness to the king's son. Help him judge your people in the right way. Let the poor always be treated fairly. May the mountains yield prosperity for all, and may the hills be fruitful. Help him to defend the poor, to rescue the children of the needy, and to crush their oppressors. May they fear you as long as the sun shines, as long as the moon remains in the sky. Yes, forever. May the king's rule be refreshing like spring rain on freshly cut grass. Like the showers that water the earth, may all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. In this psalm, there's a very thin and necessary line any leader must walk, if that leader will measure up to what David prayed for his son, Solomon, who was about to take over for the dying king. It's the precarious line of tension between the heart and head. On the one hand, rulers must govern with rulership, applying with wisdom of the mind all the laws of the land equally to all the citizens. On balance, compassion of the heart must make certain the law's rigid nature tramples no citizen. To achieve that balance is like a refreshing spring rain on a part soil. David's prayer for his son contains superlatives. Enemies eternally fearing Solomon, oppressors broken and crushed, fairness in the courts always. And let us not forget prosperity until the moon is no more. We're talking about King Arthur's Camelot, an everlasting paradise of blessing showered on everyone. Can't you just hear the Pledge of Allegiance? One nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. If you apply those standards to any ruler of current day or any time in history, that flesh and blood human will fall short. Even the one who prayed it in the 72nd Psalm for his young ruler-to-be couldn't live up to that standard. Indeed, it's an impossible target. A rule of forever is not consistent with the term limits of human lifespans. Exact justice is not found anywhere on the planet except in the minds of the naive or evil. So how could David, a wise and relatively good king, pray for something no human can hope to attain? Was he just setting up his son Solomon for failure? Or is there something else in that prayer we're not seeing? Perhaps both. The spring rain on a field of grass is prosperity for a season. Dry spells will return as assuredly as they did in Israel not long after Solomon's reign ended. There were plenty of evil rulers to follow. David knew this, but he still prayed for the son's wisdom, power, and success. But behind the king's wishes for his earthly son of the next generation, David was pointing to the son of Advent, of his lineage nearly a thousand years later, born in a manger. If you use Psalm 72 as a template, you place it over the completeness of scriptures, prophecies concerning the rule of Christ, you will see no inconsistency. The line between justice and mercy is held high. Judgment is righteous and fair. Rule is with godliness, and the godly flourish. David's prayer, written under the inspiration of God's Holy Spirit, was hopefulness for Solomon's reign as king for a season, but it was prophetic for the certainty of Christ's reign truly forever. For you today, there's a reason we place our faith in God and not in earthly rulers or institutions. Earthly kings and presidents are subject to the transitory and imperfect results of being human, with all the character cracks of our nature. God in Christ is eternal and without failure. That is a permanent refreshing rain. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.